Welcome to this series of respiratory muscle strengthening exercises. There is a lot of evidence that does state that if we do these exercises to strengthen the muscles that support the structures around our lungs, we can improve the strength and the depth of the breath that we are able to take and it may help to improve your shortness of breath. There are many exercises that can be selected to work on these muscles around our respiratory uh, uh, structures. However, I've selected a few that may be helpful for you. You may meet another physiotherapist who will suggest some different exercises to do. And please, do whatever feels most comfortable for you. If you are experiencing pain while doing any of these exercises, please stop. Please do as many repetitions as you feel you can. And if I'm going too fast for you, please go at your own pace. After doing exercises for a couple of weeks, you may find that they're just not enough of a challenge for you. And certainly, a physiotherapist or a personal trainer at a gym could teach you some other exercises that you could do or as well, if you would like to continue with this series of exercises, consider using a very small hand weight that you could either hold in your hands or strap onto your wrist. Or if you would prefer not to add some weight to your arms, then maybe do more repetitions of an exercise than we started out doing. Good luck. These are all simple, they're not going to make you out of breath, and they can all be done from a sitting position. We're going to begin with the first exercise, which involves just opening up the chest wall. What we are going to do is we are going to start with our hands at our sides, palms facing in. We're going to turn our palms out, and as we bring our arms up over our head, we're going to inhale through our nose. We turn our palms out, then we are going to bring our arms down and exhale through pursed lips as we bring our arms down. Let's do 10 repetitions together. Breathe in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. In through your nose, exhale through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth, seven. In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Last one, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now we're going to move into our second exercise and I'm going to sit down for this one. We are going to start with our arms out in front of us. And what we are going to do is we're going to inhale as we bring our arms as back as we can, as far back as we can, and we're going to exhale as we bring our arms back to the front. It is okay to do this exercise in either way, in terms of you can either bring your arms straight back as far as you can, or you can angle your arms down and bring them back in this fashion. So let's do 10 of these together. We're going to inhale through our nose, exhale through our mouth. Inhale through our nose, exhale through our mouth. Inhale, exhale. That's five. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. Now we're going to move on to the third exercise, which I call the sniffles. This exercise works our diaphragm muscle, which is located right below our rib cage. It is an important muscle when we do abdominal breathing. 
This exercise can be difficult and when you're able to master it, you should try to do it for one full minute. I will encourage you to start with 15 seconds only. What we are going to do is we're going to keep our mouth closed and we're going to breathe in and out of our nose very quickly. It takes a lot of focus at first until you can master it. So the sniffles look like this. Okay, what we're actually doing and when you think about it, when you're doing the exercise, you will feel that diaphragm muscle going up and down really fast. And that's a good workout for that muscle. So again, start with 15 seconds only. Again, with your mouth closed, you breathe in and out through your nose as quickly as you can. The next exercise is called elbow circles. What we want to do is we want to put our hands up on our shoulders. If you find this position too uncomfortable for your wrists or your hands, it is okay to just keep some fists and keep your hands up in the air. We are going to make circles and there are two directions. We can go forward and back with our elbows or we can go back and come forward with our elbows. We are going to do both directions. We are going to start with 10 circles in one direction and then we will repeat 10 more circles with our arms going in the other direction. If it's too hard for you to keep your elbows up high, that's okay, start with them low. We are going to inhale as we bring our elbows up and we're going to exhale as we bring our elbows down. Let's do this together. We inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's five. Last one. Very good. Now we're going to move on to the next exercise, which is called the shoulder shrug. What we are going to do with this exercise, again, our arms will be down by our sides. We're going to turn our palms out. So we're, again, opening up the chest as much as we can. We're going to be lifting our shoulders up towards our ears and back down. We are going to do um, 10 of these, rolling our shoulders towards the front and up and down through the back. And then you should repeat this exercise doing 10 shoulder shrugs in the other direction, rolling your shoulders up from the back and coming forward and down. Our breathing for this exercise will be that we will inhale as we bring our shoulders up towards our ears and we will exhale as we roll our shoulders back down to their starting position. So let's do 10 of these together. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, that's five. Last one. There's 10. Remember to do 10 in the other direction. Our next exercise is called the chest fly or I like to call them chicken wings. You can take your arms and either place them by your ears or you can interlock your fingers behind your head. And what we're going to do is we are going to bring our elbows towards the front and bring them back out to the sides. We're going to inhale as we bring our elbows forward and we're going to exhale as we bring them back. So let's do 10 of these together. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's five. Last one. Our final exercise is called stirring the pot. It's really using a lot of our respiratory muscles at the same time. You can use either prayer hands or you can interlock your fingers and pretend that you're holding a spoon. And the motion we want to do is stirring a pot or making a circle with our arms and our body like this. We have two directions we can go. We can start out going to the right and around the front or we can start out going to the left and around the front. So we will want to do 10 circles in both directions. The breathing pattern here will be that you inhale as you go to the farthest spot in your pot that you're stirring and you exhale as you bring the stirring motion back into your body. So let's do that together. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. That's five. Last one. That concludes our seven exercises that we're providing you with today. Remember, you need to do these at least twice a day for at least two to three weeks where you may notice some improvement in the strength in these muscles where you can take deeper, more effective breaths, which may result in less shortness of breath overall with your activities.